Hey everybody, this is the Gorgon. Uh, I wanted to show you my new animated horse pack. Um, I also want to show you how you can get the best use out of them using a module for Foundry BTT called Token HUD Wildcard, which will allow you to change the animations of the horse on the fly so that you can kind of, you know, fit them in different situations because um, you don't always want them to be walking or running. Um, so, for instance, right now I have it on this uh, beautiful map by Bailey Wiki called Forest Road. It's a really cool Parallaxia map, um, or it uses the Parallaxia module to give the illusion that, that it's moving so that you can have chase scenes or different things like that, or like this, or like a travel scene. That's really cool. Bailey Wiki's awesome. Um, I'll have a link in the description so that you can check out his Patreon. Uh, he's pushing the limits of Foundry all the time. Uh, he makes a lot of really cool things. Uh, so you should definitely go check him out. Um, so say we're walking along, uh, but we want to come to a stop, right? So let me turn off the parallaxy effect and we want the animation to change. So with token HUD wildcard, all we have to do is select the token and right click and you'll have this extra button down here now. And you click it and it'll give you all of the different animations or tokens that are available for that actor, right? It's really cool. It, it's cool how it shows the animation. That's my favorite part. Uh, when I had first heard about it, I didn't know that it did that. Uh, so that was a, a pleasant surprise. Um, it's really easy to use. Basically, all you have to do is create a folder. And in that folder, put all of the tokens that you want uh, that actor to have available in that folder. So I created one called White Horse. And I put all of the different White Horse variations and animations inside of that folder. And then you just create, uh, or you put a little asterisk where the file, well, I'll, I'll show you that in just one second. Uh, but first... See, so this is all the different animations for the white horse. So we're at a stop, so we're going to want an idle animation, which you have two idle animations, you have a galloping animation, and you have a walk animation for each variation of the horse. So you have the plate mill barding, you have the, you know, no armor, the plain version, and then you have just a regular saddle and horse bag, or uh, <clears throat> saddle and saddle bag version. All right, so say we'll pick the idle animation, idle animation number two, right? It's just that easy. You can just select, you know, another animation. Uh, I'll show you the galloping animation. And say you remove the horse's armor. Just got the regular plain horse. Uh, here's the saddle and saddlebag version. I'm really happy with how these came out, too. Put them right back on there. And let me show you how you do that exactly. So say you create a new actor. Uh, we'll call it horse. Uh, make him an NPC. Create new actor. Go to the prototype token, right? Just like you're creating a token or assigning a token for a regular um, actor. No big deal, right? Go to image. And where you would have the file name, all you'll do is you'll replace that with an asterisk, right? And the folder that that's in will now be available for all of the, or for, for that actor, all of those tokens will be available. So for instance, in my assets library, I created a folder called horses and inside I have the black horse, brown horse and white horse. So I click white horse and inside are all the different animations that I wanna use or tokens, right? And all I did was say, pick, I don't know, we want the default one to be plain white idol, right? So select it, go to the end, and you will replace that with an asterisk. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Um, well, actually, that's not true. You'll click right here, and click randomize wildcard images. Then you can come down here and create a default image so that every time you bring out that actor, it'll have this default, which will be one of those same you know animations or tokens or whatever and that that's basically it so let's see we have brown horse and it's got same variations um the saddle isn't correct uh, but i fixed that in the release so when you download um that'll be corrected i also have black horse and it's the same barding the black is my favorite, I think. Final animations. 
and that's it. Um, probably within the next week, um, depending upon when you're watching this, I'll have a couple more variations. I'm also going to do a skeletal horses, which I'm really excited about, and um, a hell horse, which would be really cool for like a villain or you know really edgy player characters. <laughs> um, all right, so thank you very much.